time for some 814 Sips with Pamela Micelles here of Fine Wine and Good Spirits. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Of course, good to see you again. Thank you. This is my favorite time of year for wine because um, it's so easy to pair things with all the different courses of your meal. Yeah. Yeah. If it wasn't for food and wine, wouldn't be into wine at all, probably. Right. <laughs> well, and you are the wine specialist. Yes. And there so are so official. many flavors <laughs> when we think about the, the dinner, the meal, all the different oh, courses. Yeah. Yeah, all you right. You think like the pop aisle is intimidating, the wine store is even more intimidating. Yeah. So I'm here to help everybody out on that. So <laughs> many directions to go into, but you've mm -hmm. broken it down for us. We've got five different wines to kind of guide you along mm -hmm. each course. What are we yes. starting with? So we are starting with Hook and Crook Chardonnay, which is one of our chairman selection wines, okay. which is like a higher quality, higher valued wine. Well, we sell it at such a discounted rate compared to the original price. So great value for your dollar. Um, so Chardonnay, this is a lighter style Chardonnay. A lot of people are used to them being big, bold, and buttery, which turns a lot of people off. This mm -hmm. is a little more mellowed, a little more citrusy. So it balances, it's more balanced. Um, and this is what makes oh. it an excellent um, appetizer's first course salad course kind of a wine mm -hmm. um, because it holds up to meats and cheeses it goes well with like salad dressings especially if you're like a ranch fan um, like most mm -hmm. Americans are mm -hmm. it goes really well with ranch dressing I can it's see light. That. Yeah, yeah, with ranch and yeah I like how it definitely would not overpower anything you're just snacking mm -hmm. on and then even later in the meal, you can even carry it over into later courses because of that creaminess. Mm. Mac and cheese, buttery mashed potatoes, perfect pairings for those kind of things too. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like this. We yeah. don't typically gravitate towards reds. I mean, I like wine, especially when you're starting with the lighter. You want to start mm -hmm. with your whites. Yes. And then move your way through. Mm -hmm. But this is great. This is really good. Excellent. This is really drinkable. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. if you set at a great price point too. Oh, excellent price Why point. Why not? Yes. Okay. All right. Set those down. Yep. We've got another white coming our yes, way. Yes, so this is a, it's the Fetzer brand, and the grape is called Gewürztraminer. Oh! It's a mouthful. <laughs> Leave it to the Germans. <laughs> yeah, Germans have a long words for things. Yeah. Um, but if you just go into a store and say, I want a Gewürz, they'll know what you mean. So a just Gewürz. Sh Gewürz. Just shorten it. Okay. It's all right. Nobody's going to judge you. <laughs> all right. So this one is, a, is a, the best white wine for Turkey. Um, because turkey, even though it's like white meat, mm -hmm. um, it can be red or white, um, but I'm showing you the white wine first. Um, it Ooh. is lighter bodied than the Chardonnay we just had, but heavier than a Pinot Grigio, which will hold up to all those seasonings and spices and like butter rub you have on a turkey. And then has a little bit of a spice note, which complements that spice blend on a turkey as well. Sweeter. A little bit it's, sweeter. It is mm -hmm. sweeter. And I wasn't sure if there was a little more like carbonation -y. like it's kind of like a um, high acidity is, yes. is that what yeah. it is because yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. I don't yeah. see bubbles per se but it's it's just refresh like crisp yeah, Z yeah crisp that's crisp. an excellent word yeah yeah that's the I think the official term if you want to say like uh, yes. more acidity yeah, more it's crisp, crisp. Yeah. it's crisp. like an apple like a green apple is yes crisp. right that's yes. a great way to describe mm -hmm. it yeah I can see how this could really complement that turkey with the mm -hmm. gravy yeah, yeah. absolutely mm -hmm. and it's excellent for um like like you said, sweet. it's a little sweet, so you got your yeah. sweet wine drinkers really like this. So, and also, um, if people are a Riesling fan, okay, this is one that the, always is like the next yeah. step over. Like they're like, yeah, that hits just right. That's nice. excellent, too. Yeah, I love the little bite to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. And next, we have another Chairman Selection wine, which, like I said before, mm -hmm. higher value, higher quality at a lower price point. We love that. Because um, our company is really good at negotiating mm -hmm. those lower prices. So this is a... I can never pronounce it. <laughs> Moulin, Moulin Avant is the brand, but the grape is called Gamay. And it's from the Beaujolais region of France. It's very similar to a Pinot Noir. Most people have had a Pinot Noir, right? Mm -hmm. um, lighter bodied red, which is another reason it goes well with turkey, because this is our red for turkey, because that light body won't overpower that delicate flavor of white meat on the turkey. And has a little bit of an herb note to it. So again, pairs well with the seasoning yes. on the turkey. Not as heavy. I think if you want to mm -hmm. get into reds, this would be a great place to start. Yes, it's like a, I always yeah. get people on a, I jokingly say a 10-step program to get them to like dry red wine. <laughs> so it's like Moscato step one, and the last one is like Cabernet. This is like step six. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. as bold as some I've had, but yes. we are progressing our way through, getting mm -hmm. a little heavier. Yeah, getting a little heavier. Okay. So the next one is, um, it's this is from California, mm -hmm. and the grape is called Barbera, which is native Italian grape. So you might have had it when you were yeah. over there. Yeah. <laughs> and it's lighter bodied than most wines, but it's still heavier than what you just had. Okay. And what I love about this wine is it is an all-encompassing for your plate. It's perfect for gravy lovers. It goes well with... a uh, 
anything you want to smother your gravy in. Mm -hmm. um, or if you're like my husband who piles a mountain of food on his plate and then covers it all in gravy, this will pair well with every aspect of what you're throwing into that mountain pile on your plate. Hey. I like that. And this has more body to it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? You see the legs? Yes, the legs. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what step would you say on, you said this is step six. Mm. This would be like a six and a half, a seven. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, I really like this. Yeah. And I can see how like, okay, you're really getting into that dinner mm -hmm. now. And yeah, and the one thing, that. though, that about this grape, it's a little bit rarer than you find in normal stores, so we're using this to represent our premium collection stores. Ooh, okay. um, so, like, there's okay. one local here, it says, like, Fine Wine Good Spirits, and it says Premium Collection right under the title. Mm -hmm. That means it has a wider selection of different grape varieties. So there'll be more options like this one and more smaller production grapes, which usually means better quality grapes as well. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah, fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, then dessert. Dessert. Yes, um, so dessert is all, to me, about savory, sweet desserts. Mm -hmm. It's not the cake, it's not the ice cream, it's your pumpkin pie, pecan pie, apple pie. So a little bit sweet, a little bit savory. Yeah. And that's what we got here in our last wine. It's a tawny port, which is a, um, I said it's a dessert wine, it's made in Portugal, but it's allowed to oxidize, which is usually bad for wine. But in this case, it develops into this nutty, vanilla-y aroma to it that's added to all those berry flavors that are in there, too. So just like your desserts, it's sweet and savory as well. Okay. Okay, I'm really intrigued so by this. So a port. <laughs> port. A port, yes. Yeah, a tawny port. There's ruby port and tawny port. The Ooh. ruby one is the not nutty one. This is tawny port, the nutty one. Ooh, is that the one you smelled when you said that? Yes. It is. It's really interesting. <coughs> did I yet? Yeah, Sorry. I did. Yeah, did you? Not yet. I just it's gave kinda, it a whiff. It smells a little like whiskey, kind of almost, but then you get a little hint Ooh. of yeah, red. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> dessert wines have a higher alcohol, so that's yeah. why we're getting that whiskiness. Okay. Mm. Yeah. It's really interesting. And more um, of a sipper. Mm -hmm. Definitely more of a sipper. You're not pouring full glasses of this. Like right. Two ounces worth, and it's a slow sipper, and mm -hmm. you know to go with each bite that you're having at mm -hmm. dessert. Very good. Yes, yeah. All right, and we do want to remind everybody to drink responsibly, of course, as you're finding these uh, wine pairings, of course, with your Thanksgiving meal. But what a fun way to, you know, uh, in addition to bring to the, the party, right, the gathering. Mm -hmm. It's just a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Pam. Thank you Thanks, for having Pam. me. Really appreciate All right. it. Head over to Fine Wine and Good Spirits, your local one near you, or the website. Check them out uh, for more details or our website, WTAJ.com.